Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export animated banners from Figma to HTML uh, specifically for Double Click Campaign Manager or DCM for short. And uh, to do that we need to install a plugin called Bannerify. So if you haven't already done so, uh, you can go to the top toolbar and click on the little Figma icon. And then go down to Community and search for Bannerify, B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y and click on the Plugins tab and you'll see Bannerify HTML Exporter uh, pop right up. And uh, because I've already got it installed, mine has this little check mark and tells me that it's installed. Um, but if you don't have it installed, you'll see a button here that will say Install. And if you click on Install, that'll change it just to look just like mine and you'll be ready to go. Uh, so for this example, I'm going to be using the file that you can uh, clone or duplicate to your own Figma uh, project. And to do that, you just click on the plugin itself and underneath the additional notes section, uh, the first bullet point contains a URL. And if you go to that URL, it'll load up the Figma project that we're going to be looking at in a second, uh, which has pre-designed banners with some animations set on them. Uh, just so you can get started really quickly or follow along with this tutorial. Uh, so I'm going to go back to that file right now. And to start up the plugin, we can just click, uh, right click anywhere on the page, go down to plugins, and then click on Bannerify HTML Exporter. And that's going to open up the plugin that we just installed. And once that loads, you can see that we've got uh, all of the banners that are in the Figma file uh, are being represented in the Bannerify plugin. And I'm not going to be showing you how to apply all these animations or um, kind of adjust the timings or anything like that. Uh, if you're interested in that and this is your first time using it, I've got another tutorial on the YouTube channel uh, which goes into a lot of detail about how to do this and it goes for about 40 minutes, so uh, it's very detailed and it shows you all the different ways you can uh, apply animations and, and do all kind of neat things. Uh, but today, we're just gonna be playing with the, the pre-designed banners that already have these animations set, um, and all we wanna do is just export them uh, for double-click campaign manager, uh, export them from Figma to HTML. Uh, so to do that, we can simply click on the export banners to HTML button in the top right of the plugin. And when we click on that, we'll see a whole range of different options. Um, but for now, all I'm really focused on is this bottom right section called code output settings. Uh, so at the moment, I've got it set to vanilla HTML and JavaScript. Um, so that's categorized under the standard category these formats don't include any additional third-party code um, or any platform specific code um, but because we want to export these banners from figma to um, html that's going to work with double click campaign manager uh, we can go to the second grouping called advertising platforms and there's a whole bunch of options in here but uh, for this platform we just want to click on uh, the second option double click campaign manager or dcm and if we click on that, that will uh, select the platform for us. And you might notice that the option that we had a second ago has disappeared. So if I quickly um, switch back, uh, you can see when we use the vanilla options, there's a, an input box here for the URL uh, where the banner is linked to. Uh, so putting a, putting a URL in there will link the banner to that particular URL. But because we're using double click campaign manager, uh, double click works a little bit differently so we don't need to manually specify any URL here but what it's going to do is it's going to add um, a click tag or some code that's going to be recognized by double click and when you upload these banners into double click you'll have the opportunity to um, associate a URL in the double click um, user interface so we don't need to worry about that okay so now that we've got double click campaign manager selected uh, we can go ahead and click on the export banners button in the bottom right and this is going to generate all the code for us and it's also going to export all of the images that we need for our banners 
Um, so it's already finished. Um, it, it does it in, in only a couple of seconds. It's, it's very, very quick. Um, so all I'm going to do is just save it with the default file name that matches my Figma project. I'm going to save that to my desktop just by clicking save. And then if I jump to my desktop, um, all I need to do is double click on the file zip file that was exported. And if I open up that folder, you can see that we've got all of our um, all of our banners that match up with the files or the frames that we have in our Figma file. Okay, so to get a, a quick look at what that's done, uh, the easiest way is just to open up the index.html file that comes inside the folder. Uh, so I'll open that up now. So you can see here it's exported our uh, banners from Figma to HTML. Uh, we can view it in the browser. If we click on this little play button again, you can see it uh, play the animation one more time. So that's all looking really good. And to have a look at what's going on behind the scenes here, I'm just going to open up my code editor. And if we drag the MREC or medium rectangle into the, the Visual Studio code editor, you can use any code editor for this. Um, and we've got a few files here. So we've got our HTML file. And you can see in here that uh, there's a few things going on. One is that it's output all of the images uh, and, and HTML that we need for our banner elements. Uh, it's also included our CSS file, which contains all of the positioning, all of the animations, all of the, the nice things that we need for these banners to, to be animated. And then in the JavaScript, uh, we've, got a, we've got a few things going on. And the one that's key to the double click format is this little snippet down here. So this is basically adding a click, a click handler on the banner, which means that uh, when you click on it, it's going to fire off this little uh, window.open function and it's going to use uh, the click tag variable that Bannerify is automatically adding in. Uh, so if you look up here, you'll see this little script that says, um, click tag equals to Google and you don't have to worry about that uh, being being put in put in as Google it's just it's purely just a placeholder um, and this will be swapped out when the banner gets uploaded to to double click um, or double click campaign manager um, and just to show you what I mean by that we can verify we can verify this code by going to a service called uh, HTML5 validator so you can get to this by either just Googling HTML5 validator DCM or going to h5validator.appspot.com forward slash DCM. And so if we want to test out one of our banners, all we need to do is go into one of them, uh, highlight all the files and click right click it and then go to compress. And that'll give us a little zip file. Uh, so now that we've got our zip file, all we need to do is click on this upload button and upload it into the HTML5 validator. So I'm just going to double click on my zip file. Um, for some reason, this service can be a little bit slow. Uh, so if it's taking a little while, just be patient. It'll, it'll, it'll work. Um, so there we go. Uh, it's picked up on our banner. And uh, as you can see here, We've got all of our uh, items checked off, uh, zip files checked, uh, all these asset checks, click tag is checked, um, everything is, is in place. And uh, the way we can test if the click event is working is just by clicking anywhere on the banner. And you can see here we've got a, uh, a click was successful and will track correctly. And as I said before, with the, the Google domain, you don't have to worry about that. That will get replaced uh, once it gets put into Double Click Campaign Manager, and you'll be able to point that to a to a landing page that you own or the campaign page that you want to point everyone to uh, for the ad. So we'll get out of that. Um, but yeah, that's that's all all accounted for. You don't need to do this test for all of the the other banners. Uh, all of the code gets exported to be identical um, essentially as far as the um, the click tag code, code goes and everything that comes out of Bannerify uh, has, has already been run through this um, previously um, so whatever you're getting from Bannerify should be production ready and of course you can make 
um, manual code changes. If you wanted to do that, you can edit the HTML or the CSS or add some custom JavaScript or, or whatever you need to do. Um, but the main thing is you've got all the images, you've got all the assets, all of the code um, for this to be production ready. If you don't have any in-house developers or um, if you don't know code, that's, that's totally fine. Uh, this will automatically do it for you. So, um, so yeah, that's essentially how you can export animated banners from Figma uh, to HTML for DoubleClick Campaign Manager or DCM. And uh, I hope that's been helpful for you. If you've been wondering how to do this, um, you can you can quite easily do it with the Bannerify plugin. And um, there's a bunch of other formats in there as well, which we'll cover in uh, future tutorials that you'll be able to find on the YouTube channel as well, if you're interested in those. Uh, so thank you as always for watching, and uh, we'll be back with more tutorials very shortly.